Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today we're at Tech Shop San Francisco, a veritable second home to tinkerers and vinners, making everything from iPhone accessories to roadsters. All right, so we are here with Blaine Dimlo, the general manager of Tech Shop San Francisco. Blaine, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you. What a cool shop. How long has Tech Shop been around? When did it start? Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, it's a good story. About five and a half years ago, our founder, his name is Jim Newton, um, was looking to make a project, and he's an inventor, crazy Dennis the Menace creative guy, and couldn't find anywhere to do it. And so we figured, there's gotta be other people like me out there. So we just started collecting tools, rented out the space, and formed a co-op, and then turned it into a business. All the basic tooling is always the same, so that way, if you remember, a tech shop anywhere. You can walk into any tech shop nationwide and you know how to use the tools. But they do kind of develop specialties. We have a great shop in Detroit with an automotive turntable and lifts wow. because they have the space for that. Here in San Francisco, we don't have quite the same space, but we focus on motorcycles in one of our areas. Okay. Other places, the wood shop is a place that drives the whole shop, you know, depending on what the culture's kind of like. With all the different tools, there's training programs, right? Yeah, I mean, in some ways, it's a chance to become a renaissance person of our generation because yeah. you can learn so many things. But there's also the other side of it is that you want to be in the shop with other people that are trained and safe. You don't really want to be next to somebody who's going to hack things up. Right. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about Autodesk. Autodesk has been a partner of ours from the very beginning. And they provide us with their full suite of software for every design feature that they have. And every member here has a chance to learn it for free. They get a six month license to take it home and put it on their own computer to learn it. And there's a consultant here all the time to help us with the projects. For the beginning consumer like myself, it allows you to go from a drawing directly to what you want to build. There's no prototype and patterning in the middle. CNC mills, lathes, MIG welding, TIG welding, everybody welding, bench grinders, metal benders, water jet, vacuum forming, injection molding, laser cutting, and 3D printing. What are some of the success stories that have come out of Tech Shop? They've kind of been on a widely different scales. You know, one of them everybody knows about is the Square technology. Yes. Yeah. yeah just swiping your card, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. The first prototypes were made here, and they kind of collaborated with a wide variety of people here to get started. So tell me a little bit about this Rallier Roadster that you get. Yeah, that started out as a project I had in my mind for probably eight or nine years, and wanted to build it. I had a specific idea in mind, but just didn't quite have my hands on how to get the design right, and I didn't have the money to build a bunch of them to practice. So when I became associated with Tech Shop, and then learned about what our other software partner was Autodesk that would help me do the 3D design of it, all of a sudden it became something that we thought we could do. And lo and behold, we plumped down about $5,000 in material, and three months later, we're driving this car around. motorcycle engine. We're in a Citroen chassis. Man, it sounds great. People are waving. Hello, hello. So this thing's beautiful. Built in-house at the shop with a bunch of friends, pizza, and five grand. <laughs> That's right. That's pretty much That's it. That's combination. That's it. All that body work we put up on our water jet, we cut it out in two hours. And we assembled the body in record time because all those dimensions were already established. That's what Autodesk helped us do. That is amazing. And it's all on a thumb drive. And anybody that's- The whole car is on a thumb the drive? The whole car is on a thumb drive. What? If anybody wants to build it, you just plug that thing in there and you can start to cut out patterns and make it All right, so I see the new business model for <laughs> automotive manufacturing. You walk into essentially a closet, hanging yeah. where valet <laughs> keys hang now, will be full, complete software cars. Yeah, just choose your car. Choose your yeah. car. I'll build a McLaren F1 today. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. Why do you think this is such a success? I mean, you guys have a ton of people coming in here, You've had a number of products that are on the market now that, that were born here, essentially. Why does this place work so well? I think it's deep within the human spirit to want to make things, you know, and there's been times in our culture where we've moved away from it, and all of a sudden, if you see a place like this on the corner or anywhere near your town, you realize, hey, wait a second, my ideas matter. Maybe I should engage in those things. And being involved in those physical things in a world that's so virtual, it really becomes quite distinctive. How brilliant is this? No matter your skill, no matter your age, no matter your product, 
you have a neat, tidy place to come and build your business. We love that. All right, for Translogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.